All right, welcome. Today is Tuesday, 9-22. We're going to do a symbolism review and practice. Remember, we're looking at standard 8.4, determining the meaning of words and phrases as they're used in a text. Again, today is Tuesday, September 22nd. We will review symbolism. We'll look at recognizing it um, individually as well as in text. So just on a curiosity on this slide for number four, if fat stacks or piles of money equals power and wealth, what does symbolism mean in general? Either place your answer in your PowerPoint or in the chat in Zoom, or press, press pause on me and just have a class discussion. So now you're gonna play the symbolism game, or at least can you recognize symbols? What I want you to do is on the next three slides, there's going to be a sentence. For example, I represent love. What you're gonna do is you could open up a new tab. You could talk about, you could type in symbols for love and you could hit images. Then you're gonna look at a symbol that might mean love for you. And then you're gonna right click it, you're gonna hit copy image, and you're gonna go back to your PowerPoint and you're gonna paste that one in. Why don't I do that just in case. <laughs> just like that. Do that for the next two slides. Press pause on me so that you can do that. For slides eight, nine, and 10, there's actually a symbol already in there. Either in the slide, write down what the symbol represents or put it in the chat or press pause on me and have a class discussion as to what you think these symbols mean. Next, we're gonna increase the level of difficulty. We're going to actually look at symbolism within the literature. So how do you find symbolism within literature if you might not even know all the different things that the text is saying? Well, step one, you're gonna look for words that you already know. Step two, you're gonna ask, are these words positive or negative? Step three, you're gonna ask yourself, can I use the words that are in the text to actually pull out the symbol? Let's practice. Looking at this one, what does the word wonderland symbolize in these two lines? In a wonderland they lied, dreaming as days go by. Words that I know, well, I know dreaming and dreaming is positive, so this must be like a dreamland. Wonderland symbolizes a land of dreams. Slide 13, what does spring symbolize in these lines? In the spring, I asked the daisies if his words were true and the clever, clear-eyed daisies always knew. So the words I know, true, clever, clear, these are all positive words. So what could spring symbolize? Slide 14, now the fields are brown and barren, bitter autumn blows. What words do you already know? Could you use any of those words as symbols for autumn? Press pause and discuss. Level up. What does fire symbolize in these lines? One day I was oppressed by cold. I found a fire which had been left by some wandering beggars and was overcome with delight at the warmth I experienced from it. 
Do you know any words in this one? Are they positive or negative? What could fire symbolize? Pause and have a class discussion. The expert round. What does the raven symbolize? And the raven never flitting, still is sitting, and his eyes have all the seeming of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamps o'er him streaming throws his shadows on the floor. What words do you recognize in this poem? Are they positive or negative? Could you use one of these words as a symbol for the raven? Press pause and have a class discussion. How do you feel? Leave a comment in the stream. Calm down, I got this. Help. <laughs> then click turn in and have a great day.